All right, welcome everyone to this Thursday night's edition of Southern Woods and Waters. Man, I cannot believe we're already into February. Where did January go is what I want to know. It just it just zoomed by. But, man, it, it's warm out there tonight. We came in with no jackets, nobody any jackets on. So it was extremely warm for this time of year. But, hey, this should be – every time that temperature goes up a degree, it just gives some guys like me cabin fever. And so we got those folks on the show talking to you tonight again about – the fishing Tennessee boat and fishing expo going on this weekend starting tomorrow noon and it carries right on through till Sunday at five uh, with great seminars seminar speakers talking to you about local lakes and even some other lakes and river systems and then we're going to also have every boat in the world looked like that was there, a fishing boat. Uh, several several vendors there with uh, lures and and uh, widgets and wadgets and watch them call it and <laughs> even a trout pond. They're even going to even have a trout pond there. So come bring the family. It's a great, great experience out there. Uh, the doors will open tomorrow at noon. So come on by and see us. It goes from noon till eight o'clock tomorrow night. So even carry your carry your family out for dinner, have an early dinner at five. When you get through, instead of going to the movies, come on out to the boat uh, and fishing expo, and we'll. Uh, I promise you. Your whole family will be entertained. But I want to introduce out to you first is one of my good friends, Ken Reedy with T Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. He does what I have always loved to do, and that is hunter education. And, and Now, you're an officer. I know that. But one of your passions, Ken, is, is uh, hunter education. It is. And, it is. And what's going on with hunter education right now? We just started a brand new system wherein we're signing up online all the students go on our web page and and select what class they want and uh, do all their signing up online that way we don't waste an hour and a half of uh, beginning of every course signing students up and you know now there's no question about whether or not you're eligible for a class that's right you you submit your when you go online you submit your social security number now, now, let me tell you this: the Social Security number is scrambled, or whatever they call what do they call that? Uh, uh, it's blocked or something. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's blocked. I mean, nobody at Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency knows what your Social Security number is, so it's uh, what do they call it? Encrypted. That's what oh, it's encrypted. Right. Right. They call it encrypted. I knew it's come to me, <laughs> but it, it's encrypted, so you don't have to worry about giving your Social Security number because it's encrypted, and nobody there at the agency will know. But the computer automatically kicks in and says whether you're eligible or not. That's right. That's right. Before, if you were nine years old, yeah, uh, you had to be got to be nine years old to take class. If you were eight, you'd come to class, sign up, go all the way through it till the end, possibly, and nobody would catch it. That's right. But now, when you sign up online, uh, the computer is going to catch that and kick it out until you're not eligible yet. You can't take it yet. Now, what if? Um I mean, th if somebody's interested, and I know several that have already asked me this year, uh, where can they take a class? All the classes are listed on the website, right? That's right. All they got to do is go into tnwildlife.org, uh, go uh, look under hunters, hunter safety classes, mm -hmm. and all of them are listed. They can go through and, and pick out which class they want and sign up right there. There's a little icon that says uh, sign up for this class, and you click on it, and it'll take you right to sign up. Now, Ken, is that just for, say, it, do they have classes scheduled, like, say, just for the month of February and none further out than that, or does it have as many out there that it, that you guys have scheduled? We, we haven't got all of them online yet that scheduled because we're afraid that some is going to go on and register and then say, hey, I can get this class ahead of that one, so right. I'm, I'm just going to go to this class and forget about the other one, which knocks somebody else out of class. It sure does. Uh, so because y'all take how many now? Uh, is it per the facility? It is. Okay. Per location. Uh, Stones River will do 50 students, which is out at uh, Stones River Range on Hobson Pike. Mm -hmm. We'll do 50 students at a time. After that, uh, the registration is cut off. Well, that's good to know. I mean, so it's the first 50 that register for the class. And you try to keep... Uh, fathers and sons and fathers and daughters or mom and pop and all of them. You try to keep them together. Right. If right. everybody in the family wants to take it, you try to keep them together. That's right. Um, 
And, and but but the great thing is, is ladies and gentlemen, once you take this class, and that's what I want to tell them, Ken, because a lot of people don't realize that if you take Tennessee's hunter education class, it's recognized all over the world. It is practically all over the world, at least North American continent and, and mm -hmm. South uh, South America. Mexico. Now a lot of people don't understand. They think, and I, and I, I was the bow hunter education chairman for years, and. One of the classes, one of the things that people would say is, well, Hugh, I've had my hunter education, but I'm going to Zimbabwe, Africa, um, and I'm going to hunt. And I asked them, did you take the dangerous big game course? And they go, what is that? But that's just a supplement that they have to take, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. So, But right. Tennessee is still viable even for Africa. They, they know Africa recognizes that Tennesseans that take the, or anybody that takes the Tennessee hunting course has got the basics. Right. Okay. Right. They've got the minimum standards, at least the minimum at standards. At least the minimum standards. Now, I've noticed though now, Ken, some states have added, really come on and said, it's mandatory. It doesn't matter how old you are, you've got to take the class. That's right. A lot of Tennessee is anybody born after January the 1st of 69 right. has got to have the class. However, you've got to be at least nine years old before you can be certified. Right. You want to make sure that they comprehend what they're reading and what they're what they're hearing in class. But it, does that? Uh, what I want to ask you is, like Colorado, it's mandatory in Colorado now. You have to have to hunt in Colorado. You it doesn't matter how old you are. You have to have a hunter education class. I, I believe in Colorado, it's January the first of '49. So that's going to pretty yeah. much get everybody. That's pretty much going to get everybody. <laughs> so, but if 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 a father son was going to go out there and the son was eight, mm -hmm. is there a special permit that they can get to hunt because Tennessee can't certify them yet? I, I, I'm trying it, to understand. It, it's not. We don't. We don't have anything. They'd be welcome to sit through the class, but we can't certify them. Right. We can't nine. certify them. But does do you think Colorado or any of those states that are making it mandatory now? Do you think they have like a supplement or a permit that you can like a I, like we do? We yeah. have what they call a one-time uh, apprentice license. Apprentice license. Uh, I don't think so. You've got to be so old to get that. I believe that. They're probably going to have a minimum age, but I'm just not aware of, okay. of okay. what it is. Some states are, you know, a 13, uh, but I'm not aware of. Ken, do you know about how long we've been teaching hunter education in Tennessee? It's been a long time, and I don't know the exact year. I don't either. It's been a long time because really I've has. seen a lot of, uh, uh, I, I, I'm not going to call them old timers, but I've seen <laughs> a lot of seniors that have been doing this a long time. They have. A lot of our instructors were coming up on our 40th year mm -hmm. of teaching. Uh, of our TWRA program, so it's been at least 40 years, and a lot of our instructors are coming up on their 40th year. Well, I'm in my 26th or 27th year, wow. of it. so I've been around. A, there's a lot. Of, I've seen a lot of chickens <laughs> come and go since you then. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we got to take another break or take a, our first break. Visit some of our fine sponsors that help make this show possible for you. So hurry back to more of Southern Woods and Water. This segment is being brought to you by Stan Sloan Zora Bait Company, where setting the hook is an everyday thing. All right, this week's picture week being brought to you by Flowers Deer Processing. Hey, let me tell you something. The deer thing's over with, y'all. <laughs> but he's been out there planting seeds, and tomorrow he's debuting a new product at the Tennessee Boat and Fishing Expo. So if you'll come by Southern Woods and Waters about noontime, You'll get to see Flowers Deer Processes come out with a brand new product, and it is hot, hot, hot. So uh, come on and check us out at the Expo. Hey, our first picture here, this is Sherry Knowles. Now, this is a picture, y'all. This is a gorgeous picture. This is Sherry Knowles. Uh, she's the wife of Craig Knowles out of Springfield, and we just had to show this. Is that not? That ought to be on a magazine somewhere. And, and that's just great. That's right here in Tennessee. A little fly fishing here in Tennessee. Just a wonderful, beautiful picture. I wish I was there. <laughs> Our second picture here, this is from Brent Chance. Look at here. These are newbies in duck hunting, and they just had to show their first ducks. Now, I don't know that they actually shot them, but I understand that they actually retrieved them. So, <laughs> so good, good job. 
And from January 19th, this is the tournament. This is the first place uh, winners, along with the big fish, was Tim Dodson and Carl Ritchie. Uh, out there at Percy Priest with 18.19 pounds total. The big boy there with 7.10 pounds. So time is now to catch those big ones. The next picture here is also from that same tournament. Second place winners was Fionn Mays and Charlie Boner with a 14.66 uh, pound sack. And our next picture here, this is our third place along with the second place big fish winners. David Welcher and Adam Vance, 13.71 pounds, and they had a 4.20 pound kicker. So, great, great job. Hey, you send your pictures to us here at Southern Woods and Waters, 474 James Robinson Parkway, Nashville, Tennessee, 37219, or simply email them to me at Hugh at Southern Woods and Waters, and we'll get them on here just really, really fast. And we do appreciate all those pictures. There's lots of them coming in. So, uh, and when you're coming in with 7.10 pound largemouth, it's time to go fishing, y'all. I'm it telling is. you. Yep. But you need to come by the expo, don't they, Josh? Yep. They got to get those tackle boxes full first. Hey, we got more than we've had ever had. Plus, we got more boats than we've ever had. We've added all the extra buildings. Uh, we got every you. boat, just about every fishing boat out there. Well, I got to give a shout out to David McMurray with the Nashville <coughs> Marine. He's gone all out. I saw yep. him put up a whole new lighting package. If nothing else, we're going to be disco dancing. <laughs> he's hey, it's got, bright. He's got so, the lights. Done. Yep. <laughs> Phoenix Boats putting on a big show. They well. are. That's that's yep. them. That's going to be good. Hey, you got to check us out at Southern Woods and Waters, too. we got a, a couple of real nice nitros in there. One is mine and one is my future. <laughs> so oh. <laughs> come on by there and check them out. We're all... Uh, and we're gonna. Everybody's gonna have a good time out there, and, and TWR is gonna be there. Yep. We can't have a show without you guys being there. Yeah. Is Faye gonna be there? I'm sure she will. <laughs> You'll hear her. You'll hear. <laughs> no. No, Faye's a gem. But I tell you what, if you ever want to know it, regulation, I oh. have to tell you, for a, for a woman, she is passionate about her job with she Tennessee is. Wildlife Resources, and and she does an awfully good job. And she knows just about every regulation y'all got. One of the most knowledgeable women in regulations I've ever She's had. helped a lot of you guys out. She has. <laughs> she has. <laughs> she knows it. She knows it. And big shout out to her. Uh, Faye, just to let you know, we did seal that, that little bowl with your cupcakes in it. So <laughs> if you get there and that seal's broken, I'd be looking at Ken. <laughs> but I tell you what, now, Josh, y'all, um, Expo South out of Memphis. You come yep. up here. This is what? How many times have y'all done this show here? Uh, I believe this is our eighth or ninth eighth, year. Eighth or ninth year, yep. and it keeps growing and getting bigger and yep. bigger. Uh, we're looking to take over the whole. I want the whole fairgrounds taken up. Hey, if one we time. can do it, we'll do it. Um, the only well, there's no more buildings we can go in. I know the gun shows this weekend. Yeah, they're also up there, so they can, everybody can come out to both shows. Uh, we'll have to kick the gun show out. Won't I, we? <laughs> if we can do it, we can do it and pull more boats in there. We need some casting stuff, Tommy. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, we need a casting. We tank do. Well, or we're something. going to try to get one in there if we can figure out how about the roof so low. You know, we're going to have to get a special place where we can put that thing in there. Either it? that, or let's go to the agricultural building where it's all open. There you and, go. And we could just. Planted in there. Well, it, it helps yeah. so much when you can get on a fish tank like that and and fish for those things. Let people see how they react yeah. to baits and, yeah. and this and that. Because it, it, when I first started uh, using one of those things myself, I mean, it really helped my fishing. So, oh yeah. You know, if you know how a bait's going to react at a certain depth or right. or a certain retrieve, it sure makes it easier than getting out there. You you do your practice in a test pond right. Or, right. or pool. Joy calls it the, the swimming pool. I call it the test pond. <laughs> well, what that is, you know, all people standing around side, and you can still make those fish fire, make them bite, you, you know, and, and that's really incredible in oh, itself, yeah. you know. And people really get a kick out of that. But we're going to do some other stuff. You know, they're in type classroom type stuff out here, and uh, I'm going to do some stuff on hummingbird electronics, and uh, there's going to be, we're going to have a seminar, what, about every hour or so, every mm -hmm. day out there, and... Uh, there's going to be a lot of in, uh, good information people can come get and free. Get that. That's right. Yeah. It's all free. So uh, 
besides the seminars, we've got a world of vendors there. Right. Uh, just got to go through there a little bit, Ken, and I was walking through there in this maze of stuff. And it's all wall to wall. Yep. Wall to wall tackle. Wall to wall tackle. It is. Uh, and you got experts or pro staffers just about at every station right. that are going to help people. Not only if you buy something, uh, you know, uh, uh, something that looks like you would catch your eye, so you right. think every fish in the world is going to eat it. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, somebody that knows what they're doing actually will tell you how to do it. You know. Right. But uh, well, we've had so many booths this year that when we got there and started setting up. We had to start making booths. Uh, yeah. We moved the Coke machine so we could move one more person in and have one more 10 by 10 booth. Well, the thing That's about it thing. is out there, too, uh, Hugh, is there's so, deals on everything out there. Oh, okay. yeah. You know, you're going to get the best deal on bait, tackle, uh, rods and reels, uh, fishing trips. Uh, anything that's got to do with boating, find the nicest marinas. I'm going to show you all the new Sugarloaf Marina over at our lake, Greer's Ferry. They just built a monster new store over there and uh, have the best prices on motors, uh, cricket rockets. Mm-hmm. Just work, you name it, you'll find it out there. And I'm going to mm-hmm. add a whole lot to that. Okay. I'm going to introduce them to Hendricks Creek Resort on beautiful Dale Hollow Lake. There you go. You know how? How? We're going to give away a one-week vacation on a Series 70 houseboat this weekend. That's good. This sleeps 16 people. Oh, has the has the slide and all right. that. You can pull your bass boat with it. And here you go. Oh. Here you go. Go set wow. up at an island somewhere. Throw the cell phones <laughs> in the lake. Well, I can't beat that, Hugh, but I will do this. The first person that finds me at the show and tells me that they heard this on your TV show, I'm gonna give them a free fishing trip at Grizz Ray Lake. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> does, it, my, does that exclude my family? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. You I got wanna probably, come, Tom. You got a big family. I wanna go over there. Need somebody in. Well, you can come any time. <laughs> I wanna we'll, do that. Just come on and we'll let anybody come. There you go. Well, that's great. I'll tell you what, there is, I heard there is a lot of door prizes to be given yep. away. Um, We've got uh, Bass Pro Shops catalogs and everything that we'll be giving away to anybody that walks by. Uh, we got plenty of those, so uh, just come on by the Southern Woods and Waters. We got you got to meet Team Hannah, Miss Hannah over there. She's uh, she's going to do the cooking piece along with Joy and Shelby here in just a few minutes. But she's fired up. She's got a deal called, and she's I'm going to let her tell you about it because I need nobody's telling me anything now i can't win anything ken i got nothing nothing i can't win anything. i can't anyway. win anything. they won't even allow me they told me no right. so so i can't win so but they still won't tell me the answer yeah. <laughs> you know? i'm like well, what a trust fight well, what if somebody <laughs> eats some of them things right? hey that's that's okay, hannah's that's deal that's hannah's, okay. deal. <laughs> hannah's got a way to stop y'all from eating them <laughs> I, I bet i bet she does but you know there's all kinds out there. there's everything for a person to get into uh, a lot of great looking baits i've seen yep. um and i take it that you don't even have to have a fishing license fishing this trap pond do you i don't know but, hey. <laughs> you better know you're I'll sitting have, next to somebody. I'll have to get my ticket book before I come out there. <laughs> I think it's located right next to TWRA's booth. <laughs> what a way to make a good money. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, you know, even uh, uh, I've seen a lot of new stuff coming out. I yep. wanted to make a, give a big shout out to uh, Ryan Hellman out of Manchester, Tennessee. Yep. He is 17 years old. He makes some of the best custom soft plastics you've ever laid I met the gentleman with. today. There you I, you, I met Rick to, this afternoon as well at the show with the stand-up jig heads. Yes. Uh, I met him. He hollered at me and want, he's going to show me a, something new that he's developed. He's told well, me about All right. It. I got it right I here. It's the product that. of the week. <laughs> so we got to go right now, ladies and gentlemen, and do our product of the week. Southern Woods and Waters product of the week, brought to you by FowlQuest. All right, this week's product of the week is that gentleman you were talking about, Terry Hobbs. Yes. He owns Stand Up Jig uh, Company, and he has outdone himself. Mm-hmm. Now, I love the jigs. Do the, the jigs stand up, as you can see, this one in my hand, this is a skirted uh, a rubber skirted, living rubber skirted jig. It has a rattle in the back. 
a great mustad hook, and that is a strong mustad hook. It is. I'm and sure. very sharp. But he added something, Tommy. Uh-huh. He added that chatter blade. And that's a round blade. That is a round blade. And let me tell you something. When you're using this thing and you throw it out there for a jig right. and it lands in the water, we'll say it lands like that in the water on the bottom, but when you go to pull it up, right. you're going to hop that jig. When it does, this thing goes back and forth and it makes that flash. Like a spoon. Like a spoon. Right. And then when you let it down, it just flutters down. Well, you know, people in Arkansas don't even know about stroking a jig. No. And I know about it, and that's what he explains to me. Really, kind of way he reason he one of the reasons he developed this. And as far as I'm concerned, this is you know this is totally one of my this is my show. Uh, stroking a jig started in Tennessee. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We might as well get credit where yeah. we can. That's right. That's right. I don't care where you think it started. It started here in Tennessee. Hey, we got to take a break. But let me tell you, first off, you can't get this new bait there at the expo. He's okay. got. Hundreds of them, half, three quarter, I think three eighths ounce too. Yeah. But three eighths, half, and three quarter. You got to go by. He's got all different colors. Check him out at the expo. Stand up jig, Terry Hobbs. All right, we've got to go now and take a break. And uh, when we come back, we're going to open up the phone line, 737 7767. We're going to take your questions. And uh, we'll be right back with more of Southern Woods Morning. 